What is going on, everybody? This is Raw Star of the Burbank Misfits, and you're listening to the Misfit Effect. And of course, I am always joined with my excellent co host, CW. Hey, that's that's me. I'm and still today, here. <laughs> today, we have a real, real wonderful treat for you. Um, she made her uh, debut in it. Like, if I'm reading correctly, she made her debut in uh, 2016, and she's been doing like a whole bunch of stuff. And she has a lot of stuff coming up for you. She's very versatile in the scenes and the entertainment that she produces. None other than the wonderful, beautiful, multi-talented, excellent Miss Melanie Cummings. How you doing, Miss Melanie? Hello. Hi. Well, hello. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> we're, we're great. So, Pretty good. So for the unfortunate souls out there who don't know who you are, who are you? I am Melody Cummings. Well, let me say it again. I am Melody fucking Cummings. I am All right. one of the saddest Ebony's in the game. Okay. Um, I've been performing for a good while. I produce my own content, um, Sam Girl, and a very wonderful performer. Very wonderful. That is that is fact. I mean, I want everybody out there to, you know, matter of fact, pause it right now. Go uh go watch pay for one of her scenes really quick and uh come back. And like you're just, you know, you'll finish off and you can um <laughs> and they're gonna her. come back for the. They're gonna come back for the podcast. They're probably yeah, like, I'm gonna go get something to eat. <laughs> come back to the podcast. <laughs> why? Why you sit there? You know, relax and everything. Why you sit there? Why you sitting there relaxed and everything? You can just say, uh So let me let me learn, let me let me learn something about her really quick. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> Melody, how did you? What's the origin story? I always like to ask people how they get started and what made them interested in getting started in the adult industry. I'm going all the way back. All the way back. Wow. <laughs> um, well, what made me start to venture um, into the industry is um, basically I was just I was just really fed up. I had a, like a fed up moment in my life. I was with a very shitty ex boyfriend, a uh, very shitty job, just, just shitty. It's just fucking shitty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I'm just like, I kind of like, you know, just kind of dabble into it. And I created like a sexy job at the time before, honestly. The website is trash, but um, and then I did like my first shoot. I remember it was like a VR shoot, and since then I just decided to just explore and just take it from there. And I've been doing like a bunch of scenes until um, I was represented and still performing to this day. I basically webcam um, mainly on many vids. Um, and just like it was like an interesting story for me. It was just like kind of honestly a roller coaster, but you know, honestly, I just kept on pushing throughout the years and mm -hmm. you know, shop for some great companies and great locations. Like um three years ago I shot in Paris, France with oh, okay. the great nice. Kiki Minaj. Yes, with a company Dorso and that was like the best trip of my life ever. <laughs> So, uh, and I still think about it to this day, three years later, and just, uh, just kept on shooting, and I shot for several companies, um, so far I shot for New Sensations, Reality Kings, um, Dorsell, that was like three years ago, and plenty others, and plenty more to come, <laughs> so, and here I am, 2021, mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you made it. You made it through 2020. It's a lot of people. Ooh, 2020 yeah. was something else. I'm telling mm -hmm. you, okay? <laughs> mm. So many people back in their home states right now. Yeah. Well, she... yeah. Well, I mean, depend. I mean, some people are from here, or like, I guess I'm just saying, a lot of people went home. A lot of people quit. Is what you're trying to say? 
Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to say it the nicest way. Thanks, Raw Star. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm here for what? the if truth. 2020 didn't bring out the hustler in you, it wasn't, I don't know if it was in you or, I don't know. There's a lot of things going on, so I should probably say that. Yeah, it definitely 2020 was, um, it is definitely was the year that it really bring out the hustle of any everybody and just like really just try to, uh, I guess, like adapt to things that, you know, was pre-COVID and I was like, you know, still in a pandemic and just, you know, I guess people find a way to maneuver. So it was like definitely a hustling year for me and, and like most other people. It's crazy too. I, I thought this stuff with Lisa had died down just a little bit, and it's just as crazy as it was when it first started, and that's just about under a year ago. So it's crazy out here, yeah. and I, I'm just glad that you know people are back to working again because you know it was a time there where they wouldn't let y'all shoot at all, like like at least with companies, whatever. I mean, all you could do was like Zoom stuff and by yourself. So it just made everything very difficult for your industry for a long time, for, for a few months. Mm -hmm. So so how have you been surviving the pandemic? Mm, how am I doing and surviving? Um, well, basically, I've just been pushing my content and filming my content um, and webcaming as well. I started to get ventured back into webcaming um, around fall 2020 and just start to build up like a base there, which is going pretty decent, pretty decent. Um, and then um, I found representation in my state in Florida um, and they basically um, just got me on um, this company, that company, and just basically just kept going from there. But prior to all of that, it was just, it was just, it was hard, like most people, but I found my way to get busy and to just keep, um, not feel like the burden of the pandemic and all the other BS that happened last year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I know um, you, like, because I know we, uh, I think we initially met at the Urban X Awards in 2019. Yeah, 2019, <laughs> I think 2018, too, and, and other conventions, I think. I think. I don't know. I think so. It's, it's, been, a, it's been a crazy year, so every everything is blurring together in my mind. Because I just know you, like, I know when we spoke last, it was Urban X 2019. Yeah, I remember that one. That so, was that was interesting. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot yeah, of few days. The pool party, the pool party was wild. <laughs> oh yeah, like I don't know if you saw, but someone threw, oh, yeah. someone threw me. Oh, that I heard about party the pool was party. wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone <laughs> someone literally threw me against uh, the step and repeat. The what? The, the what? Step, the step and repeat. The uh. The thing behind, behind the thing behind the red carpet, you know, the uh the thing that people take pictures in front of. Uh um yeah, yeah, know, yeah. I think I know. What you know, okay, you, you, okay. you know when you walk red okay, carpet, yeah. it's like a big old thing that shows all the people's uh companies and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, they call that the step and repeat. No. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And someone someone literally threw me into it. What at the pool at the party. party at the pool party because oh wow it was it was somebody who was uh giving uh fellatio and they all wanted to watch and I'm guessing since I was in front of the in front it was like to the far right side of it and I'm guessing I was just in the way even though I was there taking pictures uh but they wanted to get there faster so they just tossed me out the way and I flew into the uh into the step and repeat. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting time. And and I'm like in my mind, like laying there, I'm like, so you're rushing over there, but it's not like you're getting getting. <laughs> you want to go over there? You want to just get up close so you can watch, so you can watch. Just to watch, but he's but they're not getting none. <laughs> 
So that's when I realized uh, people got issues. And these people, and these people are in the industry too. So it's like, but don't you get your things? Never mind. Anyway, anyway, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> off track a little bit. So, Way off. so oh. Melody, since mm-hmm. you've been in this industry in the world for a while, what are your favorite kind of uh, scenes to shoot? Um, like or what would you say your special? Well, what, what do you prefer to shoot, and what do you feel like? Because sometimes people have a difference between what they prefer to shoot, what they like personally, and what their fans like. So I guess tell me both. Um. Well, I guess with that one, um, honestly, personally, I like to film girl girl and like group scenes. I just I just like to rush of being intimate with another girl and then the rush of being a nasty group scene with just spit and slobber and just all kinds of body fluids all going all over the place. (laughs) Um, But mostly girl, girl, I like to really, really be passionate with another girl and just like, I have fans that absolutely, I get compliments about my girl, girl content all the time. All the time. My messages seen my many uh, girl girl scenes like whenever I release a girl girl scene like I get sales instantly um I just released one recently that I did um last month with um performer and he's a great what did you say you you were cutting in on there for a second yeah cutting yeah Molly yeah can you guys hear me there you go. What do you say now? Okay, no, I was just um, my um, my girl girl scene with Veronica, Veronica of Love, mm-hmm. and I shot with her last month, and a lot of people love us together. Lots of squirting, intense squirting. Like the squirt was like literally in my face. Like I couldn't get a raincoat in time. It was just a lot. <laughs> <laughs> It was like like a fire hydrant when it's broken and, and it's like it spouts water like yeah. all in the air. Yeah. Exactly like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty intense. Uh that yeah, that sounds like something I would watch. Yeah, it's out now. It's out on my many vids, um melodycummings.manyvids.com. It's uh, Melody and Veronica. And it's one of my proudest videos there and a great opportunity to work with the great Veronica of Love and just like like she's been like she's she was absolutely wonderful and just like oh my gosh I would love to work with her and I've been following for a while and then I'm just like 2021 I work with her and I'm just like I'm lucky <laughs> see I know um see like many people who, who were listening to this podcast know my favorite thing to watch is girl girl so I like that type of stuff. Like that was to be the stuff I would go out my way to watch. Like literally. And me and CW definitely have different tastes on the content that we in- enjoy. So like that does sound like a a really... I watch all kinds of stuff, man. I watch all kinds of Yeah, well, you you have a variety. I am I'm very I'm very Variety's so... the spice of life. I am so sittered, it is ridiculous. So, <laughs> but, <laughs> like, yeah, like, Melanie, it's, it's sad. Like, I literally only watch uh, Girl, Girl, Girl Machine. That's not really sad. It's your choice. That's what you like. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's not. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I don't, it's I don't watch a ple- either. A plethora. I don't, like, watch a plethora of things. That's what I'm trying to say. I mean, it's not like you're watching some stuff and being like, why do I like this? I mean, you can look at some of the stuff I watch and say that, but oh, okay. Well, I'm not always. I'm not in your browser. <laughs> no, I'm just. I was. I'm. A, I was. A, I'm like. I was. A, I'm an avid watcher of King.com. Oh. oh okay. King. Oh again. yeah, King.com. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love that. I love that. I love the fetish website. I love their website. So... I would love to be in. <laughs> I just yeah. want to be tied up with rope hanging off a ceiling or something like I I ooh yeah. So oh so you want to be on you want to be on a uh, hog tie then? 
Yeah, I think oh, you know all the home. sites. I'm huh? She just she just said she wants to hang. That's hog tie. And you said, oh no, you want to be on hog tie. Yeah, that's what she just said. She said she yeah, wants to I hang. I mean, don't they do that on Kink too? I guess you know all the sites. Yeah, I mean that's 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 hog tie. I did hog tie, and, and, and they and they do it and they do it they do it on the. Uh, in oh, you the say VIP you did hog tie? Hog tie? It's, I think it's uh, was it in, in, insect talent or something or um. And they do it on they do, they do it on effing machines too. So. Yeah, they do the fuck machines and all that. I think the kink, I believe. Yeah, that's, um, that's definitely kink. But I did something like that. Like um, I think it was like two years ago. In I was in up north. I mean out west, and um, I did like a scene where I was like I was suspended. I was on some kind of bench tied up and almost like um how you tie a turkey on thanksgiving oh, like wow. in that position yeah i was tied up like that and had like a vibrator and just and it, was, it was intense I'm, sure, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to picture it in my, in my brain right now i'm sorry um, <laughs> i bet you are no when she said tie up like a turkey so i'm thinking i'm thinking of how uh, you tie up turkeys <laughs> And no, like what, find no, a like turkey it, and you yeah. tie it in a certain way. Yeah, yeah, it was like that. Yeah, it's, it's been a while since I've actually seen a turkey tied. So I'm trying to. Don't well, no, it's just. When you take the turkey, you know, you have to clip. Well, oh, yeah, you can. It's just the tie into the legs and then like the wings and stuff. Yeah, but I'm trying, <clears> I'm trying to think of the position. Well, you know, alone. look it up. Um, so, what's the <laughs> what are the, your plans for the next five years? <laughs> that's uh, my plan for that's the a lot. Years? I mean, I mean, yeah, that's what a do lot. You see in the next happen. few years? What's the what's the next step? What's your, what are your long term goals? And then long term goals, yeah. Well, my long term goal is I want to establish. Um, webcaming and I would really like to one day open my own webcam studio, my own streaming studio to other models. So okay. I would love that what happened, just keep doing what I'm doing. Um, and just to perfect my craft of content creation. Um, hopefully one day I'll be nominated. Maybe an award would be nice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just just continue what I'm doing, honestly, because anything can happen with within the next five years. So, I'm trying to manifest that's true success for the next five years. So, that's my best answer. That's a good vision to go with, especially because, like, once you start up a company like that, you one can help out can help out people uh, who are either trying to get inside the industry or just want to dabble in it, or you know, really want to be discreet about you know doing anything that is remotely uh sex work so mm-hmm. that's a good that's a good vision to have and like i'm I'm sure you will be nominated eventually i know that for some people it's really hard to get that footing going then you know 2020 happens so that just threw a uh a rocket like a wrench into everybody's uh mojo so, but if you stay consistent, I noticed that consistency is key. Like, you know, if you, I mean, it's a pandemic, but you keep making content and there's a lot of people. Well, it's, I don't know. I, like I said, like we were saying earlier about the hustle. So I believe mm-hmm. you'd be recognized. A few of our guests in the first season are just now getting kind of popular yeah this is this is our this is our third season this is it was your episode 99 melanie so <laughs> really yeah your episode 99 so the thing is like a lot of people like when we first started uh because a lot of people we we were interviewing when we first started were brand brand new and like they didn't have a lot going on and now mm-hmm. like many of them are just you know boom 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 like everywhere you know so like sometimes it takes a second and sometimes it's just timing and 
And like considering that uh, it's so you weird are, when you know, like I don't know. It's it's weird in this industry. It you never know when people are gonna start to get real hip to you. Yeah. Cause there's some people who I know that have been around was around for like six, seven years before they even got their first award. Then like yeah, then they finally got recognized for the work they were doing. And it's it's crazy out here because, you know, politics, but, you know, you never know when, because you have your fan base, you have, like, your millions mm-hmm. and millions of fans who adore you, you know? And, like, um, yeah, and those are people who just follow you on Twitter, but those who, you know, you know, get your content and uh, watch it and just you never, you never know that that person's out there, you know, enjoying the uh, your talent itself, you know. So everything will come in time, and you shall win an award. Don't know in what, but you shall win an award. I see it in your future, Miss Melanie, because you have everybody oh. around here coming. <laughs> really? I mean, okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no one CW missed that one completely. No, I did. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm... laughs> You're funny, Ross Star. I acknowledge you. <laughs> no, yes, but... you are. So uh, we, we haven't asked this question in a while, but um who in the industry do you want to work with that you haven't worked with yet? Ooh, good question. I will say this. Give good us question. your top five. Uh, uh, five? Your, your top, uh, yeah, okay. your, in no particular your, order. No, no, no order. Yes, your 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 top your top five. I want to I want to know what that per, how that how that person does what they do. Ah, oh, that's so hard. <laughs> five. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh man. Um. <laughs> I don't know. It's so many. Um, okay. <laughs> so many. Just, just, all right. I want to work with Kelly Caliente. Um, Kelly. She's awesome. Kelly. Perfect. I love Kelly. And, you know, I like her look oh, and everything. Yeah. And I find, I know if I do a girl girl theme with her, it's going to be hot and spicy. And everyone's going to buy that, like, ching, 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 you know? Melanie, so, I want to give you a little story about her real quick. She was on our very first episode. Yep, she's really? she was our very first guest, very first, like literally, like she used to train, uh, well, used to be trained by uh, CW, and we were like doing, we were actually doing a test stream that day, and she just happened to be there, like finishing her training, and when we were doing the test stream, she was like, well, I'll be on it, and we were like, okay, uh, let's, <laughs> let's, uh, let's do this then. And she was our very first guest. So she's one of my dearest friends. Nice. I love Kelly. So well, go ahead. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, you're good. Um, number two would be hmm, Dread X. I want to be dreaded by Dread X. There. I said it. I said it. <laughs> <laughs> I said it. <laughs> no. no further exclamations needed. I just want to be dreaded by Dread X. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> um, number three would be I love to work with Johnny Sins. Um, just it's why my dream come true to work with the great Johnny Sins. And I think he's a wonderful talent. And just like it'll be like. Ooh, if I do something, Johnny sins. Yeah. And then number three will be, I mean, sorry, number four will be, um, ooh, number four. Good question. Wait, question, <laughs> question. You know, I don't know all yes. the guys. Is that the guy with the piercing? Which piercing? Like, is it like his tank or his scrotum or something? Uh, I I don't know. Hmm. So I don't know. I, I don't know. 
I know Johnny. I know they make oh, a lot of memes. Oh no 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 no! You're talking about uh, you're talking today's uh, you're, talking, you're talking about sin. Uh, no, not him. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know. Um, I know. Today's his birthday too. Random, but yeah. All right, happy birthday. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> um, number four would be. Mm, dang, number four. Kelsey Monroe. I love Kelsey Monroe. I think she's great. She's flexible. She's just her personality shines. It's like, and I I think she's awesome. And the last person would be, oh, I would love to work with Cyrene Siren. Cyrene Siren, yeah. I just, I like her fit body. I would love to work out with her and work with her. Because <laughs> <laughs> she is fit. She is body goals. I work hard in the gym and train. So, like, she's my fitness insp- inspiration. I'm just like, oh, my gosh. Her body is body goals. It's fitness goals. It's, it's fitness goals. I don't need to go any further. It's fitness goals. And then to work with her, yeah. I know it'll be hot, like fire. <laughs> yeah, she does have a very, a very, very nice body for, uh, yeah, a very nice body. And it's just built right. So, yeah. Right. Yeah. So I can see that. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what, like, that's, I would say this, everybody you listed except for one person, their names haven't come up, come up yet in all the episodes we've asked that question. So that's a very, that's a, that's a very good list. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, like, cause like, you know, like not, nothing's impossible. You can work with anybody you want without here. So I always, I always find it, you know, interesting on who people are interested in working with because you can tell like by the personality of who they know they will work well with, who they can mesh with mm-hmm. and um, you know, what would, you know, what would, what would go right with others, you know? Yeah. It's very interesting. We never get, I feel like we don't always get like with other, th- like, I guess in like, like people are like, Oh yeah, I would love to work with Al Pacino or, Robert De Niro and like people just say like it's very specific people that everyone says they want to work with which I find interesting Mm -hmm. so yeah like yeah so I I really hope that you know within the next two years you can work with at least three of those people especially because I know two for all five I mean, I would, I would want for her all five, but you know, you know, twenty twenty. Well, we're still in a pandemic, and people are, you know, that's it's hard. For, it's hard for everybody. That's why I say in the next three years, because like you know, I feel that once more people see what Melanie has to offer, they would, uh, they would want to put her in more stuff. You know, don't don't under don't underestimate this black woman, y'all. Don't underrest. Uh, don't under. It's February, Black History Month. Go watch your favorite Black porn star, and go watch Melanie. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, uh, but that's a really good list. Uh, so that is a really good list. I can't hear you, Rust Star. Sorry, I cut you off. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, so. Outside of this fun industry, what do you like to do for fun? Well, smoking is always fun. I like to smoke my weed before I change it. <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, keeping up with fitness. Fitness is important to me. Um, and I started to notice, um, I started my fitness journey um December of 2018, after I came back from Paris, France, mm-hmm. um, and my body parts working out, it's, I had, you know, I was underweight and it was just, you know, I wanted to tone up and be more stronger. Uh-huh. So since I 
got a gym membership and been working out since 2018. I just develop a passion for working out and fitness. And my body's completely, you know, changed. It's different than how it was when I first started the industry. I think a lot of attention, a lot of attention. And it's just something like, you know, just to keep healthy and to just take care of myself and put myself first. Um, so fitness is very important. Fitness is always going to be a good trust fund and good thing to do. Um, spend time with family once in a while, um, mainly my cousin. <laughs> um, and just basically like meditation. I've been trying to do meditation for a while, a little while. And just like just center myself before I take on my day. So just basically pretty easy, pretty um just lay back. Lay back basically, yeah. Cool. 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 Yeah, fitness is I love it. He's a fitness trainer, as I said before. So y'all, y'all like have that little fitness talk going on. Right now. <laughs> like, I'm lazy. So it's good for your physical health, your mental health. Man, sometimes mm-hmm. I'm like, I probably work out more for the mental health benefits than than the fit. Well, I mean, I really like the physical ones, but uh, it's a I great mean, de-stressor. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, yes it is. And all, I, all I do is drink water. Water is good. <laughs> that's that's the I try to drink like you. a gallon of water a day, especially with like help to keep my skin in check. Like definitely the water part. Yeah, I've been lacking on that, and I've noticed the difference. Mm-hmm. Eat the water. I mean, I drink what I can. So, what's your favorite exercise? Uh, we're going down that rabbit hole, raw star. Sorry. <laughs> um, I guess. Hmm. I guess it's like the the sumo squat. Uh. Um, and then like, I do like deadlifts, like hexagon bar deadlifts. Um, okay. just to lift something and then just slam it on the floor and then lift it again, and just getting my legs toned at the same time and my glutes because I really go hard with working out my glutes and I, you know, everybody's noticing, like a bunch of people's noticing about that in me. So, yeah. And actually I did that today. Uh, today was for me earlier. Um, was actually leg day. Oh. Mm. See, work. the thing is, I always, always say this, back when I did work out and I was, uh, more uh physically able the only things i used to do was legs basically like it's a this class called bodybuilding class and i always had used to sleep on the machine because it was way it was way in the back of uh, our classroom so i used to sit way in the back get on that machine and go to sleep and every time i got caught sleeping i would work out and i would and work out my legs and that was the only thing i did all day was constantly late. So those end up being my favorite exercises. And I believe it helps it helps me out now because like, you know, of my injury. But yeah. See, I was never a fan of, you know, like lifting like arm weights. So well, that's lame. But well, I'm okay. So, I'm I'm sorry. I like to have It's all about weight. your full body. It's about well, balance. I mean, I've never. See, y'all, y'all trying to turn this into a, a attack Ross or a physical health, no, but no, no. Um, I've never been. I've never been a physical person. I'm a nerd. I sit behind a computer, so you could be both. I'm good. Anything, anyway. <laughs> so. How can I phrase this? Okay. So, uh, upcoming, upcoming. 
so what are what do you uh what is your favorite type of content to be like uh how can I phrase it? I don't even have a phrase what I'm trying to say. Um Okay, what what can you say? What can your uh, fans expect from you, like coming up next soon? Like, what what scenes can they look for coming up, like right now? Uh, this is February eleventh, y'all. Well, uh, so the, the one that just dropped, the girl girl scene. So yeah, that one that's Get the girl available girl available out now. To get the girl girl scene, okay. Mm -hmm. um do you what do you what do you uh what can you tell your fans like uh for those who listen to this this will come out monday so i don't know if you have anything already you know you know planned coming up and this would be you know exclusive exclusive information that uh your fans can um know like oh oh shoot she got this coming up so time to get my lube ready yes Get you guys lube ready. I'm dropping a very steamy solo tomorrow on many vids. It's going to release tomorrow night at 7. And recent releases that are already out, including my, and you guys interviewed her too um, a while ago, um, my um, webcam recording of me and Summer Love um, back last month on many vids yeah we webcam on many vids together and the recording of that cam show is available on my many vids which is melody cummings at many vids.com um my scene with me and veronica i love my video with me and it's sneaky sweets and also um i low job video with me and international male talent um he's based out of um i forgot Excuse me, I forgot where in Europe. Um, he goes by the name Mr. Big Fat Dick. <laughs> so. he, goes what? he goes by what now? Miss, yeah, he goes by the name Mr. Big Fat Dick. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Leave nothing to imagination. <laughs> yeah, and then releasing very soon, um, it's in the process of editing, um, my Many Vids live recording um, my many bits webcam recording of me and Hazel Grace that we did this past Sunday this week. Okay. You know, I've never met her. So, yeah. I, everybody, go out and check out those scenes because uh, those sound really, really fire. And yeah, mm -hmm. uh, Summer did our show uh, Yeah, I want to say like a I month ago. Like four or five episodes mm -hmm. ago, so yeah. Uh, if if they enjoy en enjoy her work, I'm quite sure they would enjoy y'all together. I feel that it's just a magical scene, especially because y'all are both you know beautiful humans. So yeah, I know it's fire. So oh yeah, pretty fire. Mm -hmm. It's pretty pretty fire. Go check those scenes out. And I do stream on the weekends, every single weekend. So do you do it? Do you do it on many vids, or you do it on OnlyFans, or what? Um, just many vids. Okay. Mhm. Mm and then the good thing about it is, I can record my shows and sell it. So like the one with me and Summer Love. So mm -hmm. please check that out, guys. Yeah. Because I know, like, I was talking to someone just yesterday about the difference between uh, mini vids and OnlyFans and uh, just for fans and all those other hoopla sites. And I was telling them that, you know, with mini vids is very eclectic because uh, if it's on mini vids, you can charge a certain, you know, you can charge a certain amount for uh, people or whatever, and they have that exclusive video just there rather than, you know, going to you can keep it for forever as as opposed to when you look at it on OnlyFans, you only get it for how long you subscribe for, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's, it, it's better bang for your buck to go to her mini vids and, you know, purchase her content. I'm sorry, I always emphasize purchase 
because I want people to, you know, enjoy your content, but also, you know, support you in every way that they can. So I do want you to tell everybody where they can find you, where they can locate you, where they can um, get any information about where they can enjoy the content. Yes, guys, you can enjoy my content and more and see me live on many vids. Look for the name Melody Cummings or go to Melody Cummings altogether dot many dot com. I stream Thursdays, Thursday evenings, Fridays and Saturday, Fridays and Saturday evenings. And I do have special guests with me on cam like Summer Love, who was on your show and um, so sweet. and plenty more to come. Plenty more to come. Plenty more guests to come in my stream. So all that and more on my many bits. Okay, you can you can give all your uh, all your social medias. Oh, all my social media. Sorry, my bad. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> so just many bits. Um, yeah, so many bits. Follow me on Twitter at Melody Comes Triple X for three X's. Melody Comes Triple X, and follow my Instagram. Oh, it's two M's too. Official- C U M M S. Yeah, two M's. Um, yeah. And official Melody Cummings on Instagram. So Instagram official Melody Cummings, Melody Comes X X X on Twitter, and Melody Cummings dot dot com for hot releases, girl girl blowjobs, group scenes, and see me live. C W, where can they find you really quick? You can find me on Instagram, CC Fitness LA, Twitter, CC Fitness LA, Facebook, CC Fitness. I guess we still use that. Or you can find stuff about the gym at ccfitnessla.com. Okay, really quick, you can find us. We are the Burbank Misfits on Instagram, Burbank Misfits on Twitter, and on Facebook, BurbankMisfits.com. Let's show us everything that. Me and CW do from editing, graphics, uh, photography, fitness. We do a lot of stuff. We're very versatile. Uh, you can find me at Rawstar, R A W S D A R R, on Twitter and on Instagram. Thanks again for coming on, Miss Melanie. We really enjoyed you. Everybody go out there and support this beautiful, lovely woman. She has so much to offer, so much to give. And once you, uh, watch your content, you will be infatuated with everything that is her. <laughs> so I really appreciate it. And we will see like, and everybody, uh, this is our 99th episode. We uh, look forward to uh, celebrating 100 with God. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Thank you for listening to uh, so many of these episodes and keeping us going. Talk to y'all next week. <laughs>